In this video, I'm going to talk about setting the quantity or the default quantity of the item in SkewGrid. Now, you actually have two choices for setting the quantity. One is to do it on Amazon itself. In other words, you can go to your Amazon listing and simply type in the number that you want for quantity. Or we can have SkewGrid do it. And so, in order to do that, I'm going to go to the general settings. Click on settings. And I need to make one change. Now I know I had said to set the complexity level to simplify it in an earlier video. However, as it turns out, we need to set the complexity level to advanced in order to get access to the default quantity setting. So from now on, you can use the advanced setting. You're now a more advanced user at this point. Settings were saved. And now I will go to my items click on that and I will go over to edit for this item click on edit and if you remember what these options looked like before there are actually more of them now at the bottom you see some other things here that weren't here before but the only one we're looking at right now is default quantity. That is all we're interested in at this point. And when you're set in the default quantity, there are some things you should keep in mind. For one, are you able to fill that number of orders? For instance, if you set the default quantity to 100 and 100 items were to sell, let's say it's a really hot item, are you going to be able to fill 100 orders in a reasonable time? Do you have enough money or credit available right now to fill 100 orders of this item depending on the price of that item so these are some things that you need to think about um, so therefore it's generally recommended that you stick with a smaller number for the default quantity say three and the number that you use can vary it really depends on that item there are some items that people are more likely to buy a larger number of those items than others it really just depends for example furniture they're more likely to buy one of that item but if you're selling some kind of uh, cleaning supply for instance they might be uh, likely to buy three at once so I've seen that this variation exists it depends on what type of item you're dealing with but for this item I'm going to set the default quantity to three and I will then update the item by clicking on update item. After waiting for some time, you will see that SkewGrid has updated the quantity of the item to three. So that is how it works. You update the default quantity of the item on SkewGrid and then SkewGrid will update the quantity of the item for you on Amazon.